hi there welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here and you know you stumbled upon this amazing channel welcome to this channel we are a happy bunch here feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel it is absolutely free nobody's going to charge you for it so please subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a thumbs up and um you know let's get right into today's video Alright, so today um, I'm doing a keto series. I know I am not on a keto diet at the moment, but you know, keto is entering my eyes because I miss my fatty foods. I miss, you know, eating fatty foods and feeling happy about myself and the guilt is not, you know, shaking me whatsoever way. You know, with carbs, you have to do it in moderation and with calculation. All right, that's by the way. So for today, I'm talking about keto and today I'm going to talk about i think i'm talking too fast so today i'm going to be talking about you know why you'll still be hungry on a keto diet even after you've eaten see when i was even like when i just started the keto diet i was still hungry i found out that even after eating like i eat some you know substantial amount of food and i found out that i'm still hungry what's going on and it's not like I'm supposed to be, you know, eating in portions or, you know, trying to cut out my meal. I'm supposed to eat high fat, especially when you're just starting. So I noticed that I wasn't eating enough fat because it's that fat that is going to keep you full. You get, I just rhymed. It's that fat that will keep you full. Okay. So you need to eat a lot of healthy fat. What do I mean? um you have um your avocado pear you have olive oil which we used to in preparing your food that's kind of fat those are healthy fats you can also have you know some locations you can have cheese you can have um fat bombs coconut oil inside your tea that's what we call the bulletproof coffee so all those you need to up your fat in a you know very very reasonable amount like really high in order for you to be full i notice that whenever i take a lot of fat i'm always full and i end up eating probably just twice a day and uh, um, compared to when i just used to you know have a little bit of fat and a lot of protein and a little bit of carbs i noticed that i was still hungry every time i'll just be hungry and i'll be wondering what's going on why am i still hungry i just ate you know a big turkey and why am i still hungry so i noticed i needed to take a lot of fat so you probably have to you know increase your fat intake number two reason why you are still hungry when you're on a keto diet is because you you're not drinking enough water so you need to be hydrated properly hydrated for you not to feel that hunger especially you know sometimes when you eat and your brain is still telling you there's space you can still eat more but you're not even hungry but your brain is telling you there's still space just drink water <laughs> it happens a lot of times so just drink water and you'll find out that that space that your brain is telling you that there is is meant for water so once you drink water you feel full you feel um you feel better and you know your stomach is full all of a sudden and you know you're not hungry again for like six to seven hours or when it is time for your next meal not taking enough um, protein you have to like take enough protein protein is allowed like 70 percent fat um 20 percent protein and then 10 percent carbs so protein is allowed when you're on a keto diet you can have fish especially lean protein and um, seafood fish lobsters crabs shrimps prawns you can have any form of protein you want um you can have those um, um fish chicken I, I mentioned fish before chicken crab i mentioned crab before chicken turkey lamb beef those type of um protein and if you are taking processed protein those are like the bacon the um sausages the ones that are processed obviously that don't come in the normal you know 
shape that you see uh, your fish or your chicken if you're having that please try and you know cut it down because they are processed they contain chemicals and you don't want to overdo it so make sure you just you know once a while once in a while just take those so make sure you eat enough protein especially in your first meal your first meal should be you know bulky you should feel that you are eating something high fat high protein not overdoing the protein but like to a an amount you know that you are going to be full so make sure you take um your protein meal and also your fat i'm talking about protein make sure you increase your protein intake when you are doing the um, in, um keto diet and you know i think i'm blabbing already your breakfast should be filled with a lot of protein bye <laughs> it's hard <laughs> All right, you should eat more nutrient dense meals. That means that you should not just be chewing things and you know eating from the table or eating, just putting things in your mouth. Make sure your food has, like, it contains the macronutrients you are meant to have. If you don't know about macronutrients and you want me to film like a dedicated video because I've always been talking about macronutrients but I haven't filmed a dedicated video about macronutrients. So if you want me to film a video about dedicated huh, about macronutrients dedicated to macronutrients only, please let me know in the comment section down below. Just um make a point or like just ask me rather and i'll be sure to do that also give this video a thumbs up so that i remember that thumbs up is what to make me remember okay give this video a thumbs up so i'll remember so you need to make sure your macronutrients are correct you cannot just be taking um biscuits here you can't be taking fat bomb here and you know just one um one shrimp here one chicken there Make sure your macronutrients are calculated and you know it is dense enough like your food bowl is you know bulky especially during the breakfast also you need to make sure you eat till you're full yes make sure you eat till you're full do you know what I, nobody even had to tell me that i needed to eat till i was full because i knew that with keto diet once you you you, you like do the macronutrient thing which is the most important important thing once you do it correctly Mm, you'll be sure to lose weight no matter what it was like a no no breaker because what they call it no anyways once you your macronutrients are complete make sure you eat till you are full if you are not full go and take more food but make sure those foods you are eating they are keto compliant so if you are if you are eating and you are trying to you know watch your um food intake um kids diet is not a diet where you will be reducing your food intake auntie uncle eat when you are full stop you cannot get fat from the fat you are taking it's going to turn into energy almost immediately before you know it your body needs another source of energy again because you'll be making sure that ah maybe i'm not supposed to eat this much maybe i'm not supposed to darling eat eat your food and be full okay don't do that don't starve yourself okay just eat your food and i think okay the last one will be that you should be hydrated i cannot emphasize this enough if i had mentioned this before i'm sorry make sure you are hydrated properly i think i mentioned it before <laughs> make sure you are hydrated properly whenever you eat drink water in between meals drink water and you'll be sure to you know be full and your stomach you know it's fine with you so i think these are the things i remember for now and if i do remember other things i'll let you guys know in the comment section or in the description box down below i am for now i'm not on a keto diet but you guys have been bombarding me with questions and some of you are lamenting that i'm not doing the keto diet again but i still have a vast knowledge about the keto diet so if you have any questions for me concerning the keto diet please do make sure you ask them very politely in the comment section or in my instagram dm and i'll be sure to you know reply don't send me an email i'll sleep on it send me an instagram dm or um in the comment section and i'll reply your um your question so we've come to the end of this video thank you guys for sticking around with me 
if you haven't seen other videos do make sure you check them out and if you are new here and you haven't subscribed and you sat all through this video you know looking at me and i'm looking at you and you forgot to hit that subscribe button and you don't want to hit the subscribe button eh oh yeah hit <laughs> please hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below i'll be sure to see you in the next way about to click on feel free to check out my videos which will appear on your screen here and here and i'll see you in the next one you're about to click on bye Mwah.